Alright guys, welcome to another beer review. Even I think I've pretty much got beer reviews uploaded every day because I have a backlog and I up the, upload them in advance. Um, I think this is actually the first time I'm recording the video for a couple of weeks to be honest. Uh, not that you will notice anyway because this will probably be uploaded before reviews that I've recorded quite a while ago. But um, yeah, so apologies if I'm a little bit rusty in this one, not that it really makes too much of a difference. So today we're going back over to Copenhagen and we've got another beer from those lovely guys over at Tool, and this is the Hoppy Mondays which is clocking in at 6% and a little description on the back of the bottle. It says tide of wheat Wednesdays or perhaps taco Tuesdays. We want to, wanted to stir up the moody Monday. Super fruity, simple, uh, direct IPA brewed with the best ingredients we got. And uh, yeah, I was struggling to read that because of like the customs sort of description label. But um, yeah, beautiful artwork as always with the tool stuff. Um, I love how it, it looks great, but there are purposely slight imperfections in there. And uh, yeah, a lovely overcast rainy scene with a nice use of typography. And then you've got a nice label with pretty much the same design going around the neck. And then of course the white crown which is the 8th of the 2nd, 2018. So it's still got some legs to it. So I'll quickly read you what it's actually brewed with um, because I'm using my phone so I can't actually look as I'm uh, recording. But it's used with uh, Pills the Malts, Carapils, uh, Melanoidin, is that malt? Uh, biscuit Malt, Flaked Oats and Dextrose, and it's a single hopped IPA using Equinox. Now, I had very limited use with Equinox, I think uh, the one that springs to mind was also a single hopped IPA, and that was with uh, Duval. I think it was their 2015 that they used, um, no, was that Triple Hop? But Equinox was one of the, the main ones, and I think they used a bit more, I can't remember. Uh, but I think I've only had a couple of other beers used in the Equinox hop. Uh, maybe more Belgian style beers, I'm not too sure. But anyway, it's an IPA from Tuol. Uh, probably one of my favourite craft brewers out there. And uh, yeah, looking forward to trying this one. i um, not watched any reviews, but I remember seeing a post by Jack from Atom Beers on the uh, UK craft beer forum talking about this one saying it was really really nice and i think rob also from hop scene has reviewed this one but i can't remember if i'd actually watched the review or not got a nice sort of mild aroma on the bottleneck but we shall see what we get in the glass so uh, yeah i've had a good run with tool um don't think i've actually had a bad or boring beer from them everyone has been not just a solid beer, but it's they've had their own unique attributes to them, uh, which make them really stand out from some of the other beers that I've had. But uh, yeah, beer in a glass, not going to pour it all in straight away. That is a nice, hazy, orangey amber sort of colour. Can't really see too much through that. It's not completely hazy or opaque, but just enough. You can just ever so slightly see what's in front of you with that. But it's got a nice deep colour to it. And I poured this with about one finger's worth of a fluffy, maybe ever, ever so slightly off-white head. So uh, yeah, it looks like a nice IPA so far. Let's give it a little bit of a twist and see what we get on the aroma. Well, I'll definitely get that Equinox hop. It's got this like slight citrusy, maybe like buttery sort of aroma to it. Like this slight, I keep referring to this when I talk about hoppy IPAs and stuff like that. But that like Harry Bow sweet where you've got the jelly on the front and then you've got that nice mallow on the back. But yeah, it's got a little bit of a spice to it as well. Nice and citrusy, more like a, a maybe a slight orangey sort of aroma. 
not too sharp but not too faded a little bit of grapefruit as well not really tropical but not really a fruit bowl at the same time you do get that slight bitterness there and I get a little bit of, like I was saying, a spicy edge, which I'm guessing could be coming from that Equinox hop. But yeah, it's almost got like a, a lemon juice sort of aroma as well. Not really picking up too many malty aromas in there. But you get that sort of almost like oat porridge-like sort of aroma. I mean, it has got flaked oats in there. And it does have that slight muesli sort of aroma to it, like um, like a, a yogurt lemon muesli, where it's got the dried piece of yogurt, like flakes of uh, lemon flavourings, that sort of thing. But you do definitely get that IPA aroma straight up front. Really nice beer. Um, it's not, you know, bursting with aroma. But what is there is really, really nice. So let's see if it tastes as good as it smells. Cheers. First things first, I was expecting maybe a slight bit more of a body to it than this. It's not a weak body, it's not a light body. But when you've got like flaked oats in there, and all that that more and that dextrose as well i was expecting just a slight bit more of a heavier sort of ipa but you don't get that which could also work to its favor it's got this slight tartness about it and it comes from that hop now like i'm saying not to experience with the equinox hop but I get that sort of slight Belgian style IPA sensation from it. But it's not too harsh, not too biting. It's got this slight bitterness to it. Almost like makes your mouth water as you're drinking it as well. But yeah, it's a nice, slightly sharp IPA. To be honest, not bad at all. And as far as single hopped IPAs go, it is really, really nice. Not that there's anything wrong with single hopped IPAs, because it's a good way to showcase those hops. But yeah, with that that malt build, it was, I was just expecting maybe a bit more oomph and a bit more body to it. But what is there is very satisfying. Very first quenching. It's got a slight crispness about it. There may be an ever so slight sticky resinous sort of sensation right on the back end in your mouth. But I'm getting that spiced, like Belgian style flavour right in the back end, like this spicy sweetness. And it comes into that slight tartness as well. Like sort of like this like like a, a sharp herbal edge, if you will. But yeah, I get like a slight lemony flavour, a slight orange juice flavour as well. It's definitely got those fruity elements. It's more of a fruity IPA than a like a bitter IPA, but it's got a nice bitterness to it. And uh, yeah, it's not drinking like a 6% ABV beer. You don't get that at all. Um, it's actually remarkably easy drinking and just you could throw it back if you, were, uh, if you weren't careful. But yeah, a nice solid IPA. It's just, well, it wasn't what I was expecting it to be. I was expecting those like that oaty, like milky almost sweetness. Um, that you sometimes get when lactose is used, even though that's a completely different kettle of fish. But what is there is very nice. And um, it's not my favourite IPA that I've tried from these guys. But it's solid. 
solidly crafted and I can't complain too much and uh, yeah I just absolutely love that label definitely a keeper as is the neck label as well so um, yeah another very solid job from Tool. Uh, in terms of a rating I can easily give that one an 8 out of 10 I think my expectations um, are slightly against it but not too much because I don't like that to really counter into my ratings um, but yeah, not too bad at all. There's almost like a very slight sourness to it as well. Um, not like uh, when I had the Mr. Blonde. That was a very sour IPA. But um, yeah, it, it, all in all, it feels like a slightly more fruity Belgian style IPA. Almost as if you've taken a little bit of that like West Coast vibe and then added it with a Belgian style, but of course, you know, West Coast IPAs, even though I've had very limited experience here, they're, you know, uber fruit bowls, and the stuff that they can do just with hops uh, is absolutely ridiculous, and it's great to see, um, like, uh, back in the UK, brews like Siren, uh, going completely off topic here, uh, brews like Siren with their $10 shake, which, yeah, they used fruit in there, but from what I've read, that's like the closest thing you're going to get from these like really rich, fruity um, West Coast IPAs that are all the rage right now. Um, but yeah, if you like your Belgian IPAs, Belgian style, um, but you want a little bit more of a fruity kick and not too much like um, uh, like spiciness, if you will, that slight like yeasty sort of flavour, then definitely give this one ago and uh, yeah it's by far a lot better than a lot of the IPAs I've tried um, but to all have done a lot better than this in my opinion but 8 out of 10 still a respectable score one that I would probably pick up again um, at some point in the future but if other beers from these guys were available that I've tried previously then I would probably opt for those but uh, yeah 8 out of 10 not a bad beer at all. If you've tried this one, let me know your thoughts and opinions. Uh, which favourite two will be? What beer should I look out for in the future to review? Because I want to review as many beers by these guys and I want to get on, onto Omnipolo as soon as I can, but it's quite hard to get hold of their beers here in Germany. Uh, anyway, I've talked about other breweries in this beer review. I apologise about that. Check out my tour playlist down below. Check out the brewery and of course. Uh, the guy's name escapes me every time, but the guy in, uh, in charge, well, who's responsible for the wonderful artwork, uh, because, yeah, I like to promote the artist, uh, especially if the beer's good as well. So, yeah, links down below. Hit me up in the comments, and, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Stick it around with me, and I hope to see you in the next beer review. See you guys later.